As a business analyst in your organization, you'll be working with Watson Analytics. Watson Analytics is a smart data discovery, visualization, and predictive analytics service provided from the cloud. It is designed to make it easy to use predictive models, visualizations, and dashboards to understand data, uncover insights, and help you take confident action. You can register for a free edition or sign up for a monthly subscription edition, both of which enable you to log into Watson Analytics, upload or connect to data, and start getting answers to your business questions. Your organization has signed you up for access to the subscription edition, and you need to become familiar with how to use it. You begin by logging in, using the credentials your administrator has provided you. Watson Analytics opens to a page showing the three main product capability tabs at the top, including Data, Discover, and Display. The Data tab is used for loading data from flat files, or for connecting to relational data sources such as a DB2 database or to third-party sources such as Dropbox. It is also where you can tune or refine the data prior to using it to perform analysis. The capabilities available on the Data tab provide the starting point for your analytics process. Once you have brought in or connected to the necessary data, the next step is to use the Discover tab to create a discovery set. A discovery set consists of a collection of discovery visualizations, all based on given data set. The discoveries help you visually understand the data, with the goal being to uncover insights which identify problems or opportunities, or which answer specific business questions. The last step in the process is to take the discovery sets based on one or multiple data sets and use the display tab to create displays. You can use a display to assemble the information into a dashboard view of the data, which you can then communicate or socialize with others in your organization. As you can see, the tabs and the capabilities within them have been organized intuitively to help you follow a workflow process. You load data, you visualize data, and then you assemble and share the data with others. You can examine some of the features of the data tab. You can add data. You can work with and organize data sets within a folder structure by navigating the folders or by creating folders. You can control your view of the data sets by using a list view or a tile view. You can sort the view of the data sets by name, last modified, quality, or type in either descending or ascending order. You can also search for a specific data set. This feature will obviously become more valuable as you start working with a high number of data sets. You can begin your analytics discovery directly from the data tab using two methods. You can click on a data set tile, which will prompt you to start creating a discovery visualization in a discovery set. You can use one of the starting points that have been suggested by Watson Analytics, or you can create your own visualization. Regardless of how you proceed, note that both will be based on the data set you have selected on the data tab. The other method available from the data tab is to pose a natural language question. After submitting your question, Watson Analytics again provides you with a list of relevant starting point discovery visualizations. However, now you can see that the suggested starting points span multiple data sets in your environment, and not just a single data set. At this point, you can use one of the starting points to create a discovery visualization, or you can use the previous method of clicking a dataset tile. You can examine some of the features of the Discovery tab, where you work with discovery sets instead of datasets. Notice that much of the same functionality is available. You can add a discovery set, work with and organize discovery sets within the folder structure, control your view of the discovery sets, and search for a specific discovery set. As with the Data tab, you can begin your analytics discovery from the Discovery tab using two methods. Clicking Add a new discovery set prompts you to choose an available data set as the basis for your discovery set. After choosing the data set, you are again prompted to create the discovery set using one of the starting point visualizations or using your own. As with the Data tab, you can also begin your analytics discovery from the Discovery tab by posing a natural language question. After submitting your question, Watson Analytics again provides you with a list of relevant starting point discovery visualizations, 
and the starting points will again span multiple data sets in your environment and not just a single data set. You can examine some of the features of the display tab. Again, many of the same features are available, but in this case, you will work with displays or dashboards. Other areas of interest include the online help, where you can access documentation, the Watson Analytics Community website, a getting started tutorial, a virtual tour of the product, and copyright information. You can access your account settings, where you can get an overview of your account details, including user information, storage space used and available, and your subscription type. You will also use this area to set up secure connections and secure gateways. A secure connection lets you provide the information necessary to connect to relational source data, such as a DB2 database. A secure gateway is an optional connection for secure connection. It lets you secure the connectivity and establish a tunnel between your Watson Analytics organization and the remote location that you want to connect to. You can access notifications, where you can view messages sent to you from the Watson Analytics team. You can access a summary of your account information, including subscription type and duration, and data usage. You can upgrade your subscription and learn more by accessing the Watson Analytics Marketplace. And you can take a survey to provide feedback to the Watson Analytics team. And finally, when moving between tabs, opening data sets, discovery sets, and displays, and accessing different areas of Watson Analytics, you may need to navigate between them. For this purpose, you can use the navigation button at the top left of the page. To act, any content you currently have open will be shown in this area, letting you navigate to it or close it off. You can also navigate to other areas of Watson Analytics capabilities, including Watson Analytics for social media, where you can begin the process of creating a project. Thank you.